Alright, hi guys. Let's do a book unhaul part two. Currently, I have about 52 books sitting here. And let's just jump into them. The pile I got like sitting off to the side, it would be The Lost Girls by Heather Young, The Lost Magician by Lisa Maxwell, The Anomaly by Michelle Rut Rutger, a big volume of the first five novels of The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Then we have All Rights. Oh, correction. This is a proof that was in there, actually. We're going to do the arcs separately. Then we have the <coughs> Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey. Neferger, Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter, The Poisoning and the Drowning by Jessica Clullis, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dorr. The Wondering by Maria Bartok. Then we have Book Three in the uh, Discovery of Witches, The Book of Late Light by Deborah Harkins. Then I actually have two copies of this. It was uh, Siege and Storm uh, by Leo Bardugo. This is the second book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Then we have his copy of Salt to the Sea by uh, Ruta Sepsis. The Ravens by Morgan. Or, uh, Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. The hardcover of The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson. This is the third book in the series. I actually am trying to get to the, uh, this paperback version. Then we have The Absolute True Di Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexi. The Help by... Catherine Stockett, Thirteen Blue Little Envelopes by Maureen Johnson, Looking, Looking for Alaska by John Green, The Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse. I have not read these, but I am going to be unhauling them when I do read them. This is the second and the third book in the Crazy Rich Asians trilogy. You have China's Rich Girlfriend and Rich People Problems. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. The first two books in the Cinder series. These are the original covers, and I only have the first two. There's Cinder and Scarlet. Uh, the first two books in the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Elephant, Water for Elephants by Sarah Garan. A Shadow is Burning, the first book in the Kingdom of Fire by Jessica Plus. I do not know which book. This is, but this is Shadow Kissed, a Vampire Academy novel. And then there's also Blood Promise. Both of these are by 
Rochelle Mead, a The Glimmering Moat Light by H.R. Moore, the book tie-in cover for Me Before You, then we have The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan, The House at the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune, uh, Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lamb, The Long Live the Pumpkin Queen uh, by uh, Shay Earnshaw, A Stolen Life by J.C. Dugard, <coughs> then you have Wilder Girls by Rory Power, uh, Sparks Like Stars by Nadia Hasham, Home for the Unwanted Girls by Joanna Goodman, <coughs> this version of uh, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, So right before I move over to the arcs, I also have The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, After by Anna Todd, and Stepsister by Jennifer Don Donalo. And as for the arcs, these are all post-COVID, just never got around to reading any of them. The Real Wata by Sarah Winman. Then The Sword and the Dagger by Robert Kaharan. The Luminous Dead by Kat Catelyn Starling. Uh, Lady of a Thousand Treasures by Sandra Biard. The Raven Boys by Baggy Seawater. Uh, Light Between the Worlds by Laura Wagmouth. Then you have All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott. House Loom, and then The Rain Watcher by Tatiana de Rosary, and so, like I said, this is part two. Most of these are going to get sold to the thrift books, um, and then the majority of them that aren't going to go to thrift books will be going to Annie's Bookstop in Rochester. And then all the ARCs are going to be put in little free libraries. And that is all for this book unhaul for a while. And until my next video. Bye, guys.